Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Monday the 19th, and today was a gorgeous day outside, um, a little bit of rain here and there, but not too bad, um, did not see a lot of it though, ironically, I was, um, I guess, really tired, I was exhausted from a very, um, I don't know, long, interesting night, Karen woke me up um, off and on throughout the night, all night, and this morning, very, very early, technically, I don't know, yeah, it would have been actually in the a.m., had said it's time to go to the hospital. She had been sick and in horrendous pain virtually all day. Uh, it it kind of subsided for a while, so she thought she was going to be able to make it until she actually got to see the doctor on Wednesday, and thought no big deal, and it kind of came and went on Sunday, and it did not stay away. It was just absolutely horrendous. So we basically took her to the hospital, took her to the ER, uh, spent the rest of the night in the ER. Uh, I was just, I don't know, horrendous. She got a bunch of shots and a bunch of pain pills and just absolute, absolute pain. Uh, finally got at least excited where she was able to kind of somewhat uh, be able to relax. She'd fallen asleep in the ER, which was a good thing. Um, went ahead, they basically released her and said that you gotta see your doctor because the doctor's gonna be the one that fixes you. We can't fix you. So we don't know what the hell's actually been wrong with her yet. Uh, we're still in that whole process. We finally got home, I don't know, a little bit after sun up. Um, but it was one of those deals that it is what it is. So we got home, I was just, I was exhausted. She was literally spending the day um, sleeping most of the day. It's pretty much all she did all day is just sleep. And I wasn't willing to leave her side for any length of time at anywhere. I, you know, go to the hall, then the house, I wasn't gonna leave the house. So the only thing I did aside from, um, we had to go um, to the pharmacy to get her prescription, which she did go with because that way it's just easier than trying to dick with the whole thing. She went with that. Um, I did have a dog I was watching today, so watched uh, Toby. Toby did awesome. Toby's a great little um, Boston Terrier and hilarious. Great little funny little guy. Um, him and Bruce beat each other up quite a bit. It was awesome. They had a great time. It was definitely, definitely lots of fun there. And it was just a lot of trying to keep Toby away from Karen because he's a bit of a climber and he's got really sharp claws. So she was not feeling the best yet, so she was definitely just just, you know, beaten. She was absolutely just tired as all get out. So she went ahead and um, just relaxed and rested. And I got her to eat some food and different things, but nothing real major. We ended up having some pulled pork, I believe it was, so it was um, dinner. She laid down, um, I don't know, like two something, and at something about, maybe it was three o'clock, where how it was, and said something about taking a nap. And I said, You want me to get you up any particular time? She goes, No, I said, If you're still sleeping at five o'clock, she goes, I won't be asleep at five o'clock, but don't wake me up. And I said, Okay. I woke her up about 6 30 to um, have her eat some dinner, and she was up for, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, and she was back to bed. So I did go get my run in, um, had to go out and get that done. Uh, other than that, I pretty much didn't do a damn thing except take her to the pharmacy, take her to the emergency room, all that kind of crazy stuff. And it was just one of those days that, nothing you know was more important than sticking around and taking care of her so that's pretty much all i did all day today it's absolutely ridiculous so but anyway pretty much um yeah it's one of those days things like that happen and you just have to accept it and move on with your life and realize i had some other things planned but not a big deal at all i got the rest of my life to do those things so you only get certain chances in your life to take care of somebody when they really need you and it's a really good feeling to be able to actually do that for them so other than that um yeah like i said it was a nice day at one point but overall um don't know what it was because i was inside the whole damn time so anyway i'll talk to you tomorrow have yourself a safe and wonderful day thanks for watching